narcissist false image. The narcissist likes to project a false, idealized image of themselves to the world. This is designed to hide their insecurities. They want to impress people, whether this is through their appearance, intelligence, or exaggerated accomplishments. They want to be admired. They want to be respected. They want people to see them as someone who is powerful and successful. They want people to be envious of them. Regardless of everything that may be going wrong in their lives or everything that they don't like. They want people to believe that they are superior to everyone around them. They want people to believe that they are special. But this is actually to compensate for the fact that they feel inferior to everyone around them. They feel that they are not worthy of love, admiration, respect or acceptance. Some narcissists create an idealized self-image of the dominant alpha male or alpha female. This is something you might see in relationships, family dynamic, in work or in public positions of society which attract a lot of attention or publicity. They like to view themselves as being strong, powerful capable of giving judgments or punishments whenever they choose or desire. So they create this false idealized image of being the dominant alpha, alpha male or alpha female. But this is actually just to compensate for how weak and insecure they really feel inside. They have a false sense of pride. They regulate their emotions and boost their self-esteem by treating people as though they are insignificant or worthy of contempt. Giving them a false sense of confidence and self-respect. They gain sadistic pleasure from these offenses and they experience a lack of empathy, compassion and consideration. Because narcissists want to portray this false, idealized image of themselves, they are prone to frequent lies and exaggerations about themselves and other people. They have the tendency to lift themselves up while putting other people down. They want to make themselves feel special and superior to everyone around them by bragging about their accomplishments and taking undeserved credit. For some narcissists, their main focus is to make you feel inferior to them often by use of criticism, psychological intimidation, and false accusations. They have this motive or desire to make you feel inferior to them because they actually feel inferior to you. Because of this, they will often distort the facts, make false statements, assassinate your character, and persuade you to do something by using force or threats.
they can become very aggressive and deflective if they are confronted on their negative or inappropriate behavior. When they are confronted or challenged, they will often experience a temper tantrum or they will deny it and make up excuses or shift the blame onto someone else. They look at their targets as though one is the, either the, a winner or a loser, on top or at the bottom. And they will do whatever it takes to offensively demonstrate that they are superior to you, to defend their idealized false image. Because of this, they will often violate rules, laws and social norms and this is something that they actually enjoy. It makes them feel as though they are special and superior to everyone around them. They will often invade your personal space, cut in line, use your property or possessions without asking and break appointments or promises. They enjoy treating people around them as though they are worthless or insignificant or beneath their consideration. They will often engage in shaming or humiliating their target, mocking or laughter at their expense, hate speech, and internet trolling. It defends that idealized false self and reinforces their fantasized ideas and beliefs of being special or superior to everyone around them. They enjoy invading your personal boundaries. It makes them feel powerful and in control which compensates for their feelings of insecurity. Their pathological need to invade your boundaries can often result in financial abuse, domestic abuse and sexual harassment. Many narcissists actually take pride in these behaviors as it makes them feel superior and privileged as though they have been given a special right, advantage or immunity. Narcissists enjoy arousing negative emotions and emotional distress within you. It makes them feel powerful to keep you feeling insecure or un unsteady. They have a habit of invalidating people's thoughts, feelings and priorities and feel no remorse for their actions or behaviours. They often blame their victims for their own victimization, or claim that they were deserving of cruel or unjust treatment. Narcissists are prone to experiencing emotional drama and chaos. They can be very unpredictable and you never know what might cause a narcissistic injury where they react with anger or rage. They often become offended or upset at any signs of independence or self-affirmation where you recognize or assert the existence and value of your individual self. They will often become upset if you disagree with their views or opinions or if you fail to meet their expectations. They are very sensitive to criticism but quick to criticize or judge other people often for things that they cannot see within themselves.
They have to keep you down. Beneath them. It is essential for them to do this. To regulate their emotions and boost their fragile egos and self-esteem. It makes them feel more reassured about themselves. It removes any doubts or fears that they might be beneath you. This is why they created their idealized false image. It was designed to protect them from any feelings of insecurity or inferiority. For them to sustain this false image, they have to tear you down. They have to make you feel as though you are less than who you really are. For them to prop up the false image. The false image was designed to defend them from how they really feel about themselves and how they believe and expect everyone else to feel about them. This is why they appear to defend the false image with their lives. They have to believe that they are superior to you in some way. If you threaten this false belief about them, they will often become triggered. They will try to trick or steal whatever it is about you that demonstrates value or superiority over them. You become a threat to their false self and they have to either ignore, remove or sabotage whatever it is that is preventing them from sustaining their false image. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforvercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the merchandise in the Narcsforver store where you can purchase your own Narcsforver t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.